One deadline has already fallen, your hope to get the Senate to vote by the August recess. House negotiators are working throughout the weekend because of disagreements among Democrats trying to bring their bill up next week before they go out on recess. Has the White House been assured by the Speaker in her office that they will have that vote, that another deadline will not fall? John, let me, let me be clear. We're uh, less interested in hard deadlines than in moving the process forward. We, the deadlines have had a disciplining effect. Three of the five uh, committees of jurisdiction in the Congress have passed uh, bills. The other two are working hard on it. We want to move this process forward. Even if both House, even both the House and the Senate had voted on these bills before the break, this would still go, as you know, well into the fall because then you'd have to reconcile those two bills uh, and there'd be continued debate. What we don't want is for the process to bog down here. We want to keep moving forward and I believe we will. The president's test is continued progress on this. He set a deadline in order to poke and prod uh, Congress into uh, moving because, as you well know, having spent any time in this town, uh, without a little poking and prodding, uh, not a lot gets done. We're pleased to see progress, and as long as we see continued progress, we think we're on the road to getting comprehensive health care reform by this fall. Why not say to lawmakers, stay in town until you hammer out a deal? The president has, uh, you know, both parties, uh, both chambers, rather, his party controlling both right. chambers. Why not say, hey, just stay here, knock it out? Right. Well, we're going to evaluate throughout the week sort of where we are on progress. So that's still uh, a possibility. Well, look, if, if by the end of the week we've made an, enough progress that we're moving in that right direction, uh, then uh, having lawmakers go home for their regularly scheduled August recess is probably a good thing. The key test on this is are we making progress? A bit of a war of words uh, with the president uh, in the last couple of weeks when you said the health care issue could be Obama's Waterloo and that his plans will destroy mm -hmm. America's health care system. This is not personal against the president. I like the president, but he's out of control and he's been leading a stampede of more spending and debt and taxes and government takeovers. He's taken a bad economy and made it worse. He used a lot of false promises and uh, bogus numbers and panic to push through the stimulus. And the promises have not panned out. And now he's trying to use the same strategy on health care. And what I'm trying to do, and I think even Kent has uh, had reservations, let's slow down and get this right. My goal is to protect the right of every American to make their own health care decisions. And so, I th if we can do that, we can come up with a bill. If you're talking about paying for it, let's look at the plans that are actually out there, John. Uh, the House bill and the Senate Health Committee bill, they, they pay for it by uh, cutting doctors, uh, cutting hospitals, and raising taxes on small business. Those are very difficult pay for, uh, pay fors and they're having a hard time selling it to their own member. The members, the only thing bipartisan about the measures so far is the opposition to them. You gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other and try to have a plan to propose to our colleagues that can win their support, Republicans and Democrats. Look, there are not the votes for Democrats to do this just on our side of the aisle. Uh, this is going to require Republicans... So it's Republicans just not possible to have a Democrat-only bill? No, it is, it is not possible. And perhaps not desirable either. We're probably going to get a better product if we go through the tough business of debate, consideration, analysis of what we're, what we're proposing. You know, it is so important we get this right and that it's sustainable. It is the Speaker's job sometimes, and you know it a lot better than I, to referee disputes within the family. Yes. Are you worried your family is coming apart on this and Absolutely that you might not. not have the votes on the floor? Absolutely, positively not. You when have the I votes. take this bill to the floor, it will win. But we, we will move forward. This will happen. Speaker Pelosi has said that when she takes the bill to the floor for a vote, that she will have the votes to pass it. Can she take to that, that bill to the floor next week yet? Does she have the votes yet to pass it? I don't believe so next week. I think that the American people want to take a closer look at this legislation. They want to feel comfortable with it. And I think most members of the House and Senate want the same thing. Uh, we're still in the earliest stages of drafting reform. We have a, a long way to go.